Lift off will start in T minus 10 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. We have ignition. इंडिया चांद पे तो पहुंच चुका है जब तक आप बड़े हो जाएंगे शायद आप भी जा सकोगे द मून द स्पेशल ऑब्जेक्ट दैट हैज कैप्चर्ड हार्ट्स एंड इमेजिनेशन फॉर एज लॉन्ग एज वी कैन रिमेंबर द की टू आर पास्ट एंड द वे टू द फ्यूचर द वर्ल्ड हैज ऑलवेज बीन फैसिनेटेड विद द मून 
and we have paid our closest neighbor many visits over the past century. 1959, Soviet Union's Luna 2 was the first man-made object to reach the moon. 1966, Luna 9 made the first ever soft landing on the moon. And in July 1969, the world held its breath as Apollo 11 became the first manned mission to land on the moon. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. Between 1969 and 1972, 24 people traveled to the moon and 12 of them could come back to tell us what it was like to stand on new ground. And as we watched all of this in awe, we knew we had to leave our mark too. On 22nd October 2008, India turned a new leaf in her space program. The Chandrayaan-1 was launched. During its magnificent tenure, the mission reported a remarkable discovery. We found water on the moon and nothing was ever going to be the same again. Chandrayaan-1 gave science a whole new perspective, drawing attention and awards. But for us, the journey had just begun. It was our first step in exploring a world that explains our own. It was the start to answers mankind has always been asking. For over 10 years, thousands of people from across the country came together for one dream. India's next big expedition.
Roughly 4.43 kilometers away from the landing site. So all going well. Uh, and just awaiting the announcement for uh, completing. Yes, the rough breaking uh, phase has been successfully completed, and we have entered the next phase of breaking operation, which is the fine breaking start, which is going to basically commence from uh, five kilometer altitude, and uh, this particular operation is going to last for nearly 96 seconds, uh, wherein the Vikram lander will be reaching an altitude of just 400 meters above the, the landing site for uh, initiating the vertical descent operations. So we are uh, almost 11 minutes 52 seconds after the descent operation has started, just awaiting the announcement for the end of fine breaking phase. Uh, maybe in another few seconds we should hear the announcement that the fine breaking phase of operation has been completed and uh, we expect at the end of this the vehicle to reach an, an altitude of almost uh, 400 meters and uh, the velocity right now if you look at the plot we have the Vikram lander has a horizontal velocity of uh, nearly 48 meters and vertical velocity of 60 meter per second और फायर फाइन ब्रेकिंग जो है वो है फेज है वो लगभग खत्म होने की स्थिति में जस्ट वेटिंग फॉर द कंफर्मेशन फॉर द फाइन ब्रेकिंग एंड तनाव भरे क्षण होते हैं जब इस तरह की कोई भी घटना के हम बहुत ही करीब होते हैं क्योंकि वर्टिकल डिसेंट स्टार्ट होने वाला है इसमें सारे संसूचक जो हैं वो लगातार अपनी गतिविधियां प्रदान कर रहे हैं। After the completion of the fine breaking end, we will have the vertical descent operations where the the spacecraft will be moved from nearly 400 to 700 kilometers down to the lunar surface. करीब तेरह मिनट अड़तालीस सेकंड व्यतीत हो चुके हैं और एल्टीट्यूड जो है वो लगातार कम होता हुआ Just waiting for the confirmation. Uh, the the spacecraft, uh, as we see on the screen, is showing uh, the horizontal and vertical velocity of uh, nearly 48 and 59 meter per second. थोड़े से क्षण जहाँ पे हमें आंकड़ों की प्राप्ति के लिए इंतजार करना पड़ रहा है जैसे ही आंकड़े प्राप्त होते हैं हम आप तक पहुंचाने की कोशिश करेंगे view of the mission control center
सभी के चेहरों पर थोड़े तनाव के क्षण शायद आंकड़ों के निश्चितता के लिए हमें थोड़ी प्रतीक्षा करनी पड़ेगी Subsequently, the communications from the lander to ground station was lost. The so data is being analyzed. mission going where you know mankind or you know we haven't gone people have not gone before down to the south pole of the moon so it would be uh, absolutely incredible it's already absolutely incredible that you're circling the moon that is a very tough tough task so no matter what the outcome on friday with nat geo on on the show and and talking about everything no matter what the outcome it's still a success for uh, for the planet and not just for india by all indications, a lot of radar uh, studying we've done of the moon, and now with the orbiter itself is going to, you know, make even better data to look down and see if there's any water, uh, frozen hydroxy down there in the South Pole region. So this is a fantastic region to explore, and, uh, you know, that's why, again, the whole planet benefits from India's fabulous effort uh, to land down there on the South Pole region. Just